In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a lead generation page for your business. This lead generation page is going to be a beautiful landing page and this is what you get at the end of this video. I'll show you how to make this beautiful hero section where you have a call to action and then a lead generation form. I'll also show you how to insert this section with three columns. Now this is a two column section where you have an image at the left hand side and a text at the right hand side. And finally, I'll show you how to insert a counter for your lead generation page. So if you want to learn how to make this beautiful lead generation page, keep watching. Hello guys, this is Swadik here at Diku Pages Web where I do web tutorials just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. That said, let's jump into the video. So like I said in the introduction, I'm going to show you how to make a lead generation page for your business. And I'll specifically show you how to make a lead generation page for a cleaning services. So what you need to do is go ahead and install Elementor Page Builder and then essential add-ons for Elementor and finally install WP Forms plugins because these are the three plugins we need in order to make this lead generation page. So I exit out of here. So to get started, I'll go to pages, add new. In here, I enter the title of my page. This is not going to be shown to users. So I can just give it any name. So I'll say lead gen. Under page attributes, I choose Elementor Canvas and the template. Then I publish, publish again. The page is published. Then I edit with Elementor. So I go to add new section and in here I will choose double column and under height, I choose minimum height and make it 600 pixels. Now I give the section a background image. So I click on edit section here. Then I go to style, under background, I choose classic, then choose image. Upload files, select files. I'll pick this image, open, insert media. The image is very big, so under position, I choose center center. Then size, I make it cover, so that it will fit very well. Now I go to element. And I drag in the heading element. Then I edit the text. After entering my text, I want to break them into three lines. So in here, I provide a break. You can copy this, then paste. So I now have it in three lines. I go back to elements and I drag in the text element. I remove what is here and enter my text. I'll do it pretty quick. Okay, I've entered my text. I'll go back to edit the section. I want to provide a background overlay so that my text will stand out. So I click on background overlay. I choose classic and the color. I'll make it completely black. And the opacity, I'll increase it to 7, 0 0.7. Now I edit my text. I go to style and the text color. I make it white. And then typography, I increase the size to 65. I'll go back to content and center it. Now I edit this by clicking on it. I go to style, center it, text color, white, typography, and the font family, I make it poppins. Perfect. Now I increase the size. 18 is perfect. In here too, I change the font style to poppins. Perfect. Now this is where I'm going to put my lead generation form. So I'll leave it for now. Next, I insert a new section. Now I choose single column. I go to elements. I drag in the heading element and I change my text to need a cleaning experts in Tamale. I center it style 
typography i change it to poppins now since i'm going to be using poppins i'll just add it to global font so i say poppins and i create it i go back to elements and i drag in the inner section i duplicate this because i need three sections now i go back to elements and i search for icon box i drag it in here so i change this icon to clock something like this i insert it and the title i make it working hours the description 24 now i can duplicate this and i remove this so in here i change the icon to phone something like that i insert it under title call us okay everything is set now i create a space in here so i go to elements i drag in the spacer element and i need another space down here i do the same thing i'll just insert it right here perfect next i insert two columns go to elements i drag in an image i insert new image select files i grab this open insert media okay the image is pretty big i go to image size i choose custom and i make it 500 by 500 click on apply then i go back to elements i drag in the heading element i change the text to i go to style typography i go to global and i choose poppins i go back to elements and i drag in the text element i will just leave this dummy text for now so i'll duplicate it now I'll click on edit section and the vertical align i make it middle now I'll go to style and the background i choose a background color and i make it gray and the advanced and the pattern i uncheck this top i make it 50 and then bottom 50. perfect i update it now i add in a spacer here so i go to elements and i drag in the spacer and finally i'll add a counter so i go back to elements and the set widget i enter counter I need three of this so i right click here duplicate right click here duplicates so i select the first one and i change the number to and i change the number 309 in the title enter clients i go to style and the typography i make it poppins for the number and title i make it poppins as well the next one the number is 256 the title is satisfied clients so i change the text for this and this to poppins as well so i just right click here copy right click paste style right click paste style now i edit the section i go to style and the background I choose classic and I choose an image, upload files, select files, and I grab this one, open, insert media, and the position, I make it center, center, size, cover, attachment, fixed. I choose a background overlay of black, and I change the font color here to white. So I select it 
go to style text color white and the title text color white right click on it copy right click here paste style paste style now i edit the section again and the advanced i go to pardon first of all i uncheck it i give it 50 top and 50 bottom i publish it so everything is set now it's time to create my lead generation form so i go to the back end of my website I go to WP Forms, Add New. In here, I give my form a name. So I say Lead Generation. You can choose from a template like a simple contact form. I'll start a blank form. So first of all, I'll go in for the name field. I just click on it. Email phone so i use numbers field and then i need a drop down so all my fields are inserted now i customize them name i only need one field for name so i'll go to format after clicking on it i choose simple and then under advanced options i change the size to large and then placeholder your name and then i hide the label so that user will always see the placeholder however i'll add a status here to indicate that it is required next is email advanced options size large placeholder your email a storage and I hide the label numbers instead of numbers I make it phone it is required advanced options large in the placeholder say phone number then I hide the label the drop down the label is service and then the choices the first one is complete I'll say complete cleaning and the second one is partial cleaning I don't need a third option so i take it off it is required under advanced options i choose large then placeholder i'll say select a service then i hide the label i save it now i change the text on the submit button so i go to settings submit button text I make it get a free code and the notifications which email address should the form message be sent to so it will be the admin email address that is the email address I used to set up WordPress then I go to confirmations what message should users see after submitting the form so this is what they will see. Thanks for contacting us. We'll be in touch with you shortly. So everything is set. I save it. Now I exit out of here. So this is my lead generation form and this is the short code, but I don't really need the short code. So I'll go back to Elementor. So first of all, I need to refresh the page. Then I go to widgets, search widgets, WP forms, 
Now, this is where the essential add-on for Elementor plugin comes in. When you search for WP form, you see three different widgets. And for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to use the essential add-on for Elementor widget. That is the one with EA right there. So I click on it, drag it in here. I go to select form, drop down the arrow, then I choose lead generation. Perfect. The title here, I don't need it. So I toggle it off right here. Now I will style it under style. I go down to submit button. The width, I want to make it full width. The background color, I choose a brighter color like this. Okay, so that it will stand out. Okay, I like the hover style. That's cool. So I don't need to change it. And text color too is okay. Now typography, I'll change it to poppins and then I'll increase the size. I'll make it 40 and then letter spacing, I drag it to the end. Perfect. I update. Let me preview the changes. Okay. Now I want to create a space in here. So I go to advanced. I'll delink the values here. Right. I make it 50. And then left. I make it 50. Okay. I need to work on the button again. So I go to style. Submit button, typography, let me make it 30, perfect. Click on updates, view the changes, perfect. Now everything is set. So this is how we make a lead generation using Elementor. I hope you found value. If you did, kindly hit the like button, subscribe and also enable the notification bell so that each time I upload a new video on this channel, you'll be the first to know. Keep watching and we will talk soon.